People ask, is economics a science like physics and astronomy? Can we study it, uh, determine its laws, uh, work out its formulae? Uh, the answer is, it can never be a science like physics and astronomy, because atoms and stars are not like people. Um, people are self-motivated. They differ from each other. They change their behaviour. Atoms and stars don't do that. Economists look at physicists and their jaws drool with green envy, and they wish that economics were a science like that, full of equations and formulae that would enable them to predict how things would behave in future. And so they say, well, let's make certain assumptions. Well, let's assume perfect competition. No such thing. Let's assume perfect information. Doesn't exist. Let's take the point at which supply meets demand and call that the equilibrium price. Wrong. Supply never does meet demand, and there is no equilibrium price. It's moving from moment to moment. It's a messy old world out there, and when an economist tries to simplify it by leaving out stuff so that a small model can be created, you have assumed away the real world. The only successful model of the economy is the economy itself. It is the real world with all of its inputs. Once you start leaving out important things in order to produce equations, you've lost touch. Economists would like to predict the future. The problem is you cannot predict how people are going to behave in future. You don't even know how they're going to think in future. The only valid economic data is about the past. It's about what happened. And it may provide us with some insights. We see what people did and what the consequences were, and we say to ourselves, let's try to behave differently next time. But the next time won't be the same, because the circumstances won't be exactly the same, and the people will be different. So we can learn a limited number of lessons from the past. Economics is not a science. Atoms and stars don't change their behaviour because they've got new information. People act with imperfect information. They're sometimes rational, they're sometimes not. They do the best they can with what limited resources they have. They're interacting with each other in unpredictable ways. Economics is fundamentally intuitive. Nobody sat down and invented economics. It evolved out of the ways in which we've learned to deal with each other. Through economic activity, uh, people have learned to lift themselves out of poverty and subsistence. They've done it by trade and by creating wealth. It's by interacting with each other that they've done this. Economics is fundamentally rooted in human behaviour, in human interaction. And that's why it's fun. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.